Hey, what nonsense are you saying? I shouted while hurriedly rushing towards Yujinkyak. Aura started to emerge from Yujinkyak's body as he held the piece of jade. The selected person is evolving into a demon king. The person who was selected by the jade would become the 73rd demon king. Can you promise not to give up on that goal, no matter what? A few days ago, Yujinkyak had asked me a meaningful question about my goal. Was my goal to reach the end of the scenarios? Uh, don't tell me. No, it was impossible. I almost had a fit as I screamed, Yu Jung Hyuk, you son of a bitch! Then the sound of steel wire moving through the air was heard. Dozens of wires poured down towards Yu Jung Hyuk, one of them snatching the jade that was in Yu Jung Hyuk's hand. The succession of the Demon King is cancelled. A bewildered expression appeared on Yu Jung Hyuk's face. Tokshashi. I looked back and saw dozens of threads stretching out from Yu Sung Ah's hand. As everyone was frozen, only she kept her mind. She tied up the Demon King's jade with binding thread and flew it to this side. Yu Jun Hyuk let out a huge burst of killing intent. Don't interrupt. As soon as an intense wave of magic power was about to cover Yu Sung Ah, I triggered Bookmark and Way of the Wind and blocked the magic power. It wasn't easy to block, even with Way of the Wind at the maximum level. This was the power of Yu Jun Hyuk, who had become a transcendent. I shouted through clenched teeth. Yu Sung Ah Shi, hold it well, never use it. Yes. My party members were wondering what the hell was going on. Han Suyang created dozens of cleanse and shouted, I knew this would happen. Kim Dokja, I told you. Yu Jin Kyuk is someone who only thinks about himself to the end. Han Suyang kept shouting while I was unable to grasp the situation properly. Kim Dokja, we must stop him. This jerk is obviously going to become the Demon King. Kill all of us and clear the scenario alone. Han Suyong's clone blocked Yu Jin Kyuk and exploded instantly. Han Suyong's main body was trapped against the wall of the hallway. The other party members rushed in front of me. Master, what's wrong with you? Yeah! Yu Jin Kyuk, she. Lee Ji Hee and Jung Hee won as well. They couldn't cope with Jung Yu Jin Kyuk's blow and fell. Now Yu Jin Kyuk was serious. He was committed to defeating all those who interfered with his purpose. I stepped past the party members while telling them, You can't deal with him! Yu Jin Kyuk's eyes glared at me. Get out of the way, Kim Dokja. I will be the Demon King. What nonsense is this? Why all of a sudden? Shouldn't you know well? There's only one way to clear this scenario. I glanced at the scenario window floating through the air. Main scenario number 10. 73rd Demon King. Category, main. Difficulty level, SS+. Plus. Clear conditions. You can choose one of two ways. Take possession of the throne and become the 73rd Demon King, or kill the newly born 73rd Demon King. The scenario can only be cleared by choosing one of the two methods, and there is no other way to proceed. Time limit, 30 minutes. Compensation, 200,000 coins. Question mark. Failure, death, and expulsion from the scenario. This scenario was similar to the sacrifice scenario. One person had to die for everyone, or one person would live while everyone else died. I bit my lips and asked, Are you going to sacrifice yourself? Hunt me and go to the next scenario. Why are you doing something like this all of a sudden? This is the right thing to do. There was no doubt that he thought this was the right answer. Eugene Kyuk's book is with, with his unique nuances. I'm used to the pain. Similarly, I'm familiar with death. Don't you already know this? He was certain that I knew all about him. However, Yu Jin Kyuk was wrong. I didn't know Yu Jin Kyuk. The Yu Jin Kyuk I knew would never do this. It seemed like there was room to talk, so I decided to calm down this damn sunfish. I know that you're saying, but you don't have to sacrifice yourself. You're a regressor, but you don't have multiple lives. I have resurrection on my side. That's why you're not the one suitable to become the Demon King. Resurrection. It's a good ability. However, do you think it will work in this scenario? If you've seen this scenario failure, can you be certain that resurrection will save you? I had forgotten for a moment. Certainly, Yu Chun Hyuk was right. This scenario didn't just end with death. This jerk, had he calculated it and moved? Get out of the way, Kim Dokja. My unbroken faith cried out while his heaven-shaking sword pointed at me. In this stubborn, confrontational state, I desperately thought about it. How could I persuade this person? No matter how much I squeezed my head, I couldn't come up with a method. If this continued, this jerk would become the Demon King and take the damn regression route. The exclusive skill, Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint, Stage 2, is activated. I started to soak up his thoughts like a sponge. 
The cost of failing this scenario was expulsion from the scenario. There's no one who can survive being expelled from the scenario. Then Kim Dokta's resurrection ability is meaningless. Perhaps this is the death that his fate is pointing to. If Kim Dokta becomes the Demon King, he will die here. My heart was heavy as I received the waterfall of thoughts. Thus, it is me who should sacrifice themselves here. This guy was really going to sacrifice himself. The arrogant and aloof Yu Jing Hyuk, it was for the sake of others, not himself. Suddenly, unknown emotions rose inside of me. Them you? What about you? If you die here, what about your damn goal? You will do it for me. What? Yu Jing Hyuk watched over our companions behind me. The one who can save the world. It might be you, not me. Li Hyung Sung, Li Ji He Shin Yu Sung, Li Sol Hua. There was deep regret in Yu Jung Hyuk's eyes as he gazed at every single person. I seemed to know what he was thinking. There have never been so many people who made it here, and maybe it won't happen again in the future. This was the Yu Jung Hyuk who had experienced several lives and received advanced information from the 41st regression. There were no cases like this regression. This fact caused Yu Jung Hyuk to shake. My mind worked quickly. How could I persuade him? Get out of the way. There isn't much time left. He used giant body transformation and started to swell up dramatically. He had either grown stronger in three days, or the party members were frozen by the energy he was emitting. Yu sung was terrified, and Yu jung Hyuk approached her step by step. I activated the Blade of Faith. Stop! Stop it, you son of a bitch! The white ether sword collided with Yu Jing Hyuk splitting the sky. Of course, it was my side that suffered one-sided damage. I had to use at least electrification to deal with this guy. I couldn't let him take the path of regression. The moment I was about to activate bookmark, Yu Jing Hyuk asked me, Are you concerned about what will happen to this world after I go back? What? You must be afraid. The moment I disappear, this world will disappear. Isn't that right? I was so surprised that I was at a loss for words. How the hell did he know this? I started to wonder if he was the one with Omniscient Reader's viewpoint instead of me. Then I forgot even this thought. There's nothing to worry about. I already asked my sponsor. What? This world won't disappear if I regress. This world won't be upset if I die. Yu Jun Kyuk easily suppressed Yu sung and reached for the precious jade. As if it wanted him, demonic energy stretched out from the jade and tangled around Yu Jun Kyuk's fingers. Continue to live, Kim Dokja. Yu Jing Hyuk looked at me with the face of a stranger. Now you have to save this world. Thunder struck the sky on the second floor of the Dark Castle. It was a sinister thunder, as if suggesting the, s the collapse of the Dark Castle. Lee Su Kyung gazed at the sky as she moved with the Monrurs. Her son was probably beyond the sky. <laughs> you look so very worried these days. It was Lee Boksung who, su who spoke. She handed her Dark Castle ranking to Jung Hee-won and chose to stay here. Lee Su-kyung glanced at Lee Boksung for a while before replying, I guess I'm not familiar with being a mother. Do people get used to it? You will never get used to it in your life. Me too. You aren't going to bring up the story of raising six siblings again, are you? <laughs> you knew. Lee Boksung chuckled. There were no wanderers who didn't know the story of the six siblings raised by Lee Boksung. Lee Boksung patted Lee Suk Young's shoulder and spoke in a friendly voice. He will surely come back alive. Don't worry too much. I wish, but fate says differently. You don't think that fate can be overcome? To me. In the end, Lee Boksung retold the story of how she raised her six siblings through all types of hardships. Lee Su Kyung smiled bitterly. No one would have suffered if fate was so easily overcome. If he doesn't go to the next scenario, incarnation Kim Dokja can live. Lee Su Kyung sacrificed 20 years of her life and read this sentence from fate. Kim Dokja could live if he didn't go to the next scenario. In other words, Kim Dokja would surely die when he went to the next scenario. Dokja. However, Lee Su Kyung didn't give up even when all indicators pointed to the death of her son. She couldn't let go. There was the sound of falling, and Lee Su Kyung looked down at her fingertips. Her body was still crumbling because her recovery was slow and incomplete. It was all due to the after effects of entering the fourth wall. 
Lee Soo Kyung remembered the moment she was eaten by the fourth wall. It was a terrible experience, as if her being itself was breaking down into morphine units. Perhaps she died at that time. Like a broken story, she was sucked into the wall and experienced something no human ever had before. She was shocked that there was such a wall inside her son. She also shuddered at the fact that someone was living inside the wall. What the hell is it? There, Lee Soo Kyung confronted the presence inside the wall. Her existence was crushed and recreated, so there weren't many accurate memories left. The exact structure of the interior of the wall, she didn't remember. Still, there was one thing she remembered. It was the answer to a question. What is the way for my son to survive? How can he get rid of that damn fate? Lee Soo Kyung asked this, even when her existence was fading away. The being inside the wall laughed like it was having fun. There is only one way to escape from fate. There was a strange smile as if this whole situation was a joke. Kim Dokcha already knows how to do it.